Greetings, it's Dave again. It's come to my attention that in my previous tip, where I showed you how to create a uh, a single channel into which you could funnel multiple audio devices using Audio Hijack Pro, that uh, it works great. And everybody on the other end in Skype can hear both you and whatever audio files you play in QuickTime or whatever app you choose. But depending on your setup, you may not be able to hear these once you have hijacked that audio. Uh, and it doesn't matter for some of you whether the mute button is pressed or not. So there's a quick solution. We have our QuickTime player hijacked with the auxiliary device um, set to go to Soundflower, which we did in the previous tip, and I'll link to that just so, uh, so people that find this one can find that one. Uh, we can do the same thing and send it to our headphones. So right below that here, we click, we go to 4FS, uh, 4FX effect, we say auxiliary device output, and this time we choose default. And that'll go to your Mac speakers or whatever you have as a default. If you have headphones or something like that, you know, for me, I've got headphones plugged into my microphone, so I could send it out that way. You can send it out whatever you want. That will do it. That will solve this problem for you. Enjoy.